Hey guys, Grass Clippings here, and today we are going to be looking at my collection of HO scale locomotives. Now, they're from a whole bunch of railroads, a whole bunch of manufacturers, and there is no rhyme or reason to their organization. So, yeah, this is going to be my 50 subscribers special, and I really hope you enjoy, and, uh... Just a quick little thing, apparently only 1% of my viewers is actually subscribed. Now, I know that my 1309 video probably is the reason for that, but I'm just saying, it would be nice if you subscribed. And now, without any further stalling, let's get into the video. We're starting this off pretty streamlined with 4271, the NSOCS. I really like this engine. It is my first F7 with tons of detail, and it is also the first DCC engine I've ever owned. I love this thing, and it is not very run often, but it is a engine that I enjoy. This is a pretty nice one. It's my Alco S2 3035. Uh, it's lettered for the Delaware and Hudson and it is produced by Atlas. I would really love to get this engine fitted with DCC someday, which will be made possible. There is a drop-in board made for this engine, and I think it is an awesome candidate for a switcher on my layout. Next up, we have 2200 from the Pennsylvania Railroad. I love this engine. I'm just gonna put it out here now. I love this engine. It is possibly my most favorite engine I have, and it is very, very important to me. It's a very nice engine, very well detailed, and very durable. I really like its lighting because the lights also shine through the number boards, giving it a lighted number board look, and it really adds to the engine. And I'm make it and it makes it look so much better 10 out of 10 would buy another one next up we have 721 a bachman spectrum consolidation locomotive it is my first and as of right now only dcc fitted steam locomotive it is quite the engine i've added on a rear light uh not a functional one but a real light nonetheless, and it is one of my favorite engines. It is a really fragile engine though. It, it has a lot of fragile detail on it, and I uh, really think it's uh, not really an engine I should be moving around too much. Like, I don't, I didn't like moving it over onto the grass, for instance. It's a uh, nice engine. I don't like moving it around with my hands. Next up, we got the Mogul. Honestly, one of the best engines I have. Well, not really. It's kind of slow on pulling power and doesn't have a lot of detail on it, but it's definitely one of my favorites. I really enjoy this engine, and I am currently in the middle of trying to get a decoder for this thing. And I am really looking forward to getting it to run on DCC. As you can see, it hasn't ran in a good while. <laughs> it's uh, pretty dusty, and it hasn't had a good jog in a good while. But, that's going to change in the next few days. Next up, we got the Oddball GP7. Now, this engine is quite the oddball, as I've already stated. It is a... Uh, interesting engine. It's a uh, Lionel model, as I've already say stated once again, and Lionel isn't really known for their HO scale products, especially the GP7s. They're usually more known for their Berkshires or their horrible Mikados. And to be honest, I don't really run this engine. It's kind of a pocket rocket, and also it's kind of hard to fit with DCC, so it's kind of stuck in the uh, drawer for quite a while, and I don't think this engine's going to be doing much after this. Next we got my Bachman Spectrum GE 70-tonner. 
It is uh, currently not fitted with DCC, and I don't think it will be. And I like this engine. It's okay. It's uh, really geared down. Like when I say geared down, I mean it crawls at like 50%. It's just like oh, doesn't run too well in one direction and or the other, and it kind of has those exposed motors. Uh, though it has two motors, which is really impressive. It doesn't have any pulling power whatsoever, no torque, and it's quite damaged, as you can see. It's missing a few details here and there, and it's got, uh, yeah, it's not the best locomotive I have, but it's my first CSX kind of locomotive, so I like it. Next up is my Mahano 040 Shunter. Now, there's nothing really special about this thing. It's a pocket rocket, and there's really nothing else to it. Um, it pulled a lot of cars, and it uh, flew off the track a good amount of time. Um, yeah, that's about it. Next up, we got my Athern GP35. This engine is my first uh, HO scale engine. It was the numero uno. Uh, I don't plan on fitting it with DCC because uh, these Atherin units are known to be pretty inaccurate because uh, the long bo bonnet is uh, pr the bonnet is pretty thick and it's not really prototypical. So yeah. Next up is a lifelike C16. It is really cute, like seriously, this thing is really cute, but it doesn't run. The only reason why it's even here is because I really enjoy this thing. I uh, took the original motor out because it burned out the day after I got it, but it is a really good engine so far, or, well, it is a really good weight test. I mean, most of my engines can pull it. Uh, some of my lighter ones can't, but, you know, whatever. It's a nice little dinky thing to have. It's also free rolling, so, you know, why not? I like it, so I'm gonna put it on. Next up is Bachman Branch Line Manor Class. It is really big. Uh, it's probably my second biggest working engine, but I don't intend on fitting it with DCC or anything because currently this engine has nylon gears and the nylon gears will probably break and I won't be able to use this engine. So it's kind of stuck in the shelf and it probably won't move for a good while. We got a biggie coming up and it is my Mantua 282. It is my biggest operating engine. And it is probably the most interesting I have. I enjoy this engine, it's really heavy, and I can't run it. Yeah, no. Um, well, I can, it's just, it's DC, and the layout is currently DCC. So I can't run it. And also, this engine is incredibly heavy, and it damages my track. Well, I say it damages, but it doesn't. Not really. It doesn't like my track, let's just say that. And uh, there's nothing really else to say about this engine other than it's pretty cool. Wow, it just stays big. We got a Mantua Big Six. This engine is incredibly large. I'm joking, it's really tiny. It is a 060, as you couldn't tell. It just recently got its smoke box door. Uh, you can see that before the. Uh, 1309 video, it just got its smokebox door, and it looks really dashing with it. I love this thing, I want it to get DCC, I want it to get a can motor, I love it, I want the best of it, and it is also my first HO scale steam engine, so it's even better. Once again, we're going overseas with this really, really interesting engine, it is a Johnson 3F, built for the Mid Midland Railway, and it is a one-of-a-kind engine I have right here. It is a fine cast kit, and it is modified with brand new wheels, 
Um, I did not do that. That was the original owner that I got it from. I originally thought it was a LMS 4F uh, Fowler locomotive. And uh, no, it wasn't. It was a Johnson 3F. And uh, I like this thing a lot. It was uh, dropped two times. Second time it killed it. And uh, I guess I'm an engine murderer. <laughs> but um, killed the cab and uh, did a lot of damage. It didn't run when I get it when I got it, and, uh, yeah, we're down to the last one, my Athern S12, this one is definitely getting DCC, I just really want to get a detail kit for it, so I can get all of its handrails, and I want to make sure this shell is in the best condition it can be in, and I think, after that, I will have a really solid switcher, I have a DCC chip for it, and I can fit it whenever I feel like it. I just don't have a uh, soldering iron. Uh, this is the first diesel engine I could actually pull anything with, which is really cool. Uh, this is a really important engine to me, and I think if I get it running with DCC, it will be awesome. When I say this, I mean this sincerely. I really can't up, say sir, enough thanks on where you gas. guys have gotten me. And, and it's just amazing that I've Matt, reached uh, 50 subscribers. Um, I'm looking forward to uploading more. I know I say that every single time I upload, but like, I'm not going to guarantee it, but you know, whatever, I'll upload more and more and hopefully we can get somewhere and hopefully I can do another one of these videos where I'm celebrating a subscriber goal pretty fast pretty quickly now um, it would mean a whole lot to me if you subscribed and clicked the like button maybe leave a comment you know I'll maybe do a Q&A video uh, I'll do another watching grass grows because if uh, you might have noticed that the layout has changed once again, and, uh, you know, that's pretty important. Anyways, it appears we have reached the end of today's episode. I hope to see you guys soon, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!